Jensen. walks into any room, he wants applause, yeah. and Gary to announce him. So, I, but. I'm, I'm never actually late, but if I walk in on time and don't clap, I'm like, nope. Yep. I'll be back. Again. And then finally, someone will, someone will drop something, I'll be like, that's enough. I got some noise. <laughs> uh, good morning, y'all. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Anybody from here? Not the majority, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who's a first timer? Oh, anybody start watching either during or after the pandemic? <laughs> we were on for 15 years before yeah. that. Where the fuck were we going? <laughs> I bought that joke from Dave Grohl. <laughs> That's true. Not that I know Dave Grohl. I just drew. <laughs> Oh, you told the story. Yeah. Where you been? Yeah. Like, who's time? Who's like first Blue Fighters concert? It, I see what you did there. See? Double on top drop. <laughs> That's it. Um, you wanted us like, to say your life, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we're just fans. I don't know. Love you back. Nice. It's going to be. I was, the, uh, I was the, the concert last night, you guys. Uh, A, spe a special <laughs> premiere. <laughs> no. That's it. And That's when? It. 2016. Okay. One of those two. Pick, pick a date. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it was 2016, maybe 2008, maybe 1990. Uh, sounds very memorable. <laughs> Clearly, I made an impression. <laughs> yeah. It was some year before this year. Yeah. An unforgettable, slightly forgettable. Never mind. It was one of those decades. I know it was after Supernatural started airing. So, sometime between 05 and now. Uh, well, this is a. Uh, this is uh, a lot of y'all know. Some of y'all were there. The the homeland, the birthland of the Supernatural creation. Uh, relationship. That's right. Was it 08? Uh, 2008? 2007. 2007? Yeah. yeah. One of those years. I remember like yeah, it was yesterday. It was like, uh, yeah, never wow. Remember. You were, you were okay. Thank you. There's the exit. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was two. Wait, when's your birthday? Wait, what? What do you mean, what? When were you born? Well, 2005, June, right? 29th, 2002. So you were, you were five. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Two, five, pick a year. I remember it like it was yesterday. 2003, 2000. You're... <laughs> Someone just got 69. And they're like less than 20 years old, so I don't think they were talking about their birthday. Uh, but I see what you did there. Well done. Um, anyways, it's nice to be back after whatever year it was. 70 years ago. Um, for some show that we maybe were on. I forget. I remember it like it's yesterday. Uh, it's nice to be back. I, I, do have to, uh, I do have to share something this morning. Uh, something great happened to me today. Yeah. Um, I don't know if any of you do the... Uh, the Wordles. <laughs> One try. Oh, 
Yeah. Everybody's yeah. dead. Yeah. Uh, we have a, I don't know if we talked about it, we have a, a, a heat I machine. literally just, yeah, I like, I woke up, I was still in bed, and, because we have this like. Oh, you woke up in bed? <laughs> Not all the time. I woke up, I was walking uh, outside, and uh, <laughs> We have this text thread, it's, who is it? It's you, me, Fergus, Fergus Misha, Spade, Ruth Benedict, Benedict, Ruth. Anyway, a, a bunch of us, and we, we all just post our Wordle scores of the day. And, and I had gotten, uh, there was, I, I like woke up and looked at my phone, there was two notifications, and it was Misha's post, and Fer Fergus's post. Yeah, Fergus was um, well, he's he's in Ireland, so he he is always posting like, in the middle of the night. He always sends it like, oh, we get mornings at three a.m. Like, Fergus, dude, you got twins. Go to bed. <laughs> but I guess it's ten. He's in Ireland, yeah. <clears throat> and um, so I looked at it. So immediately, I was like, oh, well, let's see what it is today. And and I guessed the word, and I just stared at my phone for like ninety seconds, going. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't believe it. Oh yeah, I, 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 man. I couldn't believe it. I think I think his test no, was no, 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 no. So the word is yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I haven't done it yet today. You have to do it when you're still in bed. Uh, Ackles text. So he said. What's that? Today. I do Quirtle, Octurtle. Yeah, Octurtle's my favorite. No, no, I don't do any of that crap. I do Quirtle. <laughs> That's it. Um, Five letter word. Take all your other fancy crap. Five. I've had a few, so I'll, I'll, I won't do it in bed, but I'll do it maybe after my first cup of coffee. What are you doing? <laughs> You'd rather not know. Uh, so, well, whatever. I'll let you deduce, but I'll do Wordle, then Quirtle, then Quirtle Sequence, then Octurtle, Octurtle Rescue, Daily Octurtle, but and I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I'll have Jen, uh, there has been more than one occasion where I'm somewhere and I hear a knock on the door. Yeah, you okay? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, my stomach hurts. Oh, you're on the ship. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to the bathroom, I'm like hiding from the kids. <laughs> Oh no, it's 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 your it's the safe place. It's a, yeah, yeah. You, you think, but Jen's like, uh, I've been alone with the kids for half an hour. You want to come out? You cool? Like, yeah, you gonna make it? Uh, come on out. She's on to you. Yeah, she's totally, she's totally on. Uh, anyways, enough about Wordle, Wordle, Turtle, Turtle, all the above. Uh, who wants to yell something or say something? That was a quick hand. Wow. You were ready. Oh, best uh, comment instead of a uh, question, but it'd be. Uh, really cool if uh, in season 16, if you bring the Winchester cast through the AU portal to um, Sam and Dean's world, and then the um, Dean and the Heaven gang come through the Heaven portal back to life, and and then throw in a little bit of um, Independence and Walker cast <laughs> guest stars, <laughs> guest, guest stars, um, guest stars. And this is why the writers are on strike. <laughs> Got it. That's got it. It's like a it's like a playlist. <laughs> Play Beethoven, then maybe some uh, AC DC. No, that's uh, awesome. That would that would be uh, that'd be an interesting challenge to pull off. Um, not sure how that would work. But, I'll, I'll uh, be, I'm gonna be really honest. I, I wonder how you think. It's more. Of, this is a question slash statement. Now that I'm gainfully unemployed. Uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, I've been like, man, it'd be fun to like start trying to think of stuff. But legitimately, we can't talk to writers. Like writers are all solidarity, so they won't have uh, creative conversations right now. But I, hopefully, they uh, they come to terms that are agreeable for everybody, and uh, we can start. Developing. Oh yeah, no. It's, well, it's we like, still look like similar you. to Sam and Dean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like we've got this time on our hands. It's like, oh, sweet, we can maybe. Let's make small calls. Yeah, let's make. Oh, never mind. No, actually, we're. No one will take our calls right now because everyone's yeah. on strike. So, yeah. great. I guess I'll just be a dad. <laughs> Father these children. Hide in the bathroom. <laughs> Hide in the bathroom. <laughs> Doing octurtle. Octurtle. Turtle sequence. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Yeah, having a 
panic attack back there. What's happening? I'm sorry. I, I, this is my first con. Oh, my welcome. First con overall. Um, Jensen, I told you yesterday, like, you're my bucket list, and you knocked you off. Well, one off yesterday, but... Um, okay, so... <laughs> <Not sorry. laughs> right in the kiss What kind of convention is this? Don't you worry about it. I was happy, uh, I was happy to knock you off yesterday. <laughs> I mean, there's a hotel across the street, so... Oh, are we in a hotel? Sorry. sorry. No, it's, um, it's a convention center. Okay, I remember so, it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so, um, there were a lot of little, like, nods to different shows in Supernatural, uh, like with Dean from Gilmore Girls and... OG Dean, you mean? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, uh... Lucifer, Mark it was from again. Chicago. My dean was from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, no Mark, <laughs> Mark mentions uh, that he'd go and be uh, a crime-solving guy for the show Lucifer. Like, do you remember that? Anyways. <laughs> Mark said it or Crown said No, it was Mark when you guys were in the cage. Lucifer. Lucifer. Oh, it was Lucifer. Did. Sorry, Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Or yes. Yeah. Right. So he, what other shows would you have loved to like kind of do a nod off to in the show in Supernatural? What is a nod to? <laughs> <laughs> Not go to sleep to. Uh, I mean, I think it would have been really fun. I, we joked about it, oh, but yeah. these guys are buddies and um, we were we shared a network for many years, but it would have been fun to get Vampire Diaries. <laughs> And we all, you know, guys are weird in the way we express, like, yeah, it's my buddy. He's like, oh, he's stupid. And I was like, why? Do y'all like each other? Like, yeah, but that's just what we say, you know? Um, but uh, it would've been a lot of fun to, to go, um, you know, show up on TVD or Arrow. And we, I mean, we have buddies on all sorts of networks. I mean, <laughs> it'd be a strange ending to This Is Us, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we always joke like uh, the the last episode of Vampire Diaries was just the Apollo rolling into town. Yeah. <laughs> Shutting the lights off. Cut yeah, the credits. That's it. Credits. Um, and then we often joke too about um, Sam and Dean showing up on the uh, on Walking Dead and, <laughs> and just dealing with zombies um, in a, <laughs> in such an easy way. I'm just like this. <laughs> Some of them didn't even have lower halves. They were just crawling, and it's like, how does that pose a threat to anything? All you have to do is not fall down. Yeah, you know that's all you have to do is just walk away. Yes, yes. It wasn't like the you know the. If it was like the sprinting dead, that'd right. be terrifying. That would be <laughs> right. It's like 28 days later or uh, yes. yeah. yeah, those that that's not uh, no thanks. You but can the, have those guys. The drunken stumbling dead is not really terrifying. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, safe. Uh, thank you. Uh, right here. No, you're good. Um, if there were any characters like guest stars that um, you wish would have had like bigger roles, I guess, like instead of just being like guest stars in like one or two episodes. Um, yeah, no, great, great question. Um, I think one of the obvious ones, and he's fresh on both of our minds because we were just making fun of his show. Uh, it would have been great to have JDM around more, you know? And it was, yeah, and I, I think he wanted to be around, and it was just, you know, Grey's Anatomy picked him up before we could, you know, they, they made the offer, and we didn't really know where season one was going yet. We being, you know, the, the writers in the studio hadn't quite figured out, you know, we were, I think we were making books, and uh, <clears throat> like, we gotta change this a little bit. Um, but there are a bunch, but again, I, one of the strange things is, though obviously selfishly, I would have liked to have had the dynamic of dad and sons more, 
it's kind of perfect for what the story became. You know, it's kind of uh, looking at Supernatural as a whole. It was like, well, that's kind of great because it made Sam, it made Jared as Sam kind of want his dad more without being willing to say it. So when he got to come back um, and we hit him in the nuts with him, <laughs> which was the most epic shot in all years of his life. Amazing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there is, there's kind of two lists, I would say. There's the list of the actors that we would love to have come back, and then there's the list of the characters. Uh, and, and a lot of, you know, a lot of times those, they coincide, but, um, you know, I, uh, uh, for instance, this actor and this character uh, are both ones that I would have liked to have had explored the stories of Benny. Uh, explore that story a little bit more. I just thought that was that was a uh, such a unique character in that situation, especially given the fact that that Dean was always so kind of cut cut and dry, uh, black and white about you know it's a monster, it's got to die. Well, here you had you know somebody who was but yet befriended him. So it was uh, I thought that posed some some really good uh, issues, but. Uh, Ultimately, it's a show about two brothers, and that's that's where it always kind of came back to, um, which is fun. But uh, yeah, there there were a lot of Sully, a lot. <laughs> yeah, again, both the actor and the character uh, were fantastic. Would have loved to to have worked more with. Uh, what you I'm trying to think of his character name. No, 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 thank you. But yeah. uh, uh, trying to think of another one. Another one. I mean, there's, I mean, there's so many. There's so many. Yeah. yeah. Was there one that you had in mind when you asked? I was gonna say Charlie's an obvious one too. Like, I uh, to have her just kind of be a little bit more involved with uh, with the brother's story, I think would have been great. Um, Wonderfully, uh, she's writing season 16 apparently. So, <laughs> are you taking notes? Yeah, a little bit more Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a good question now. Thank yeah, you. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go. How about in the red shirt over there. If you could like add another episode to Supernatural, what would that be about? Add another episode. How long can the episode be? <laughs> 23 hours. <laughs> uh, never ending. Never ending story? Uh, episode about never ending story. Uh, Moonchild, uh, the rock monster. Uh, I would have just added one scene. Okay. And it would have been uh, the scene um, where Sam and Dean get out of the Impala uh, next to the barn where they got into their fight and just, just had Dean put on a backpack. <laughs> That's just one shot. That's it. Could have just added that little nugget. Yeah. <laughs> so it would have been like, ow! Instead of, <laughs> ah, don't go there. See? It's, all, it's, all, it's just all the deliveries. Ah! Oh! Or, <laughs> we We should have had an alternate ending where you're like, ah! Oh! Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> right, it goes right here, like right in my armpit. I'm like, whoo, you see that? I'm Batman. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> uh, if, if we can, on a different note. I feel like we did every episode imaginable. Like, oh, we would have done a musical episode. Well, did that. Oh, we would have done like a, a dancing like Fred Astaire, but well, we, we did that. We should play um, Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. We did that. We did that, yeah. <laughs> we should tell, we'd do a whole episode from the perspective of the car. We did that. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a lot left unturned after 15 seasons. Um, what's that? A gender swap? Oh, we did a body swap. We did the body swap. How interesting. Deanna and Samantha. I, I think that and Cassandra. Been, I think 
that would have been amazing. I bet the writers thought about that, to be brutally honest. I think it, I do have the hair for it. But I think it would have been really difficult to try and make sure that everybody knew it was in good fun, we're not making fun of men or women. Or, you know, so it would have been difficult to write and let make y'all would have known, but maybe the broader audience that. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, it looks like we've got season 16 just hashing out right here. Is someone filming this taking notes? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I see a cowboy back there. I'm going for it. Get out of here. Hey, birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to ask you. Of all the years you've been doing this, what has been your favorite fan interaction? Our favorite, favorite fan interaction? Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that's a... Spider monkey. <laughs> um, I mean, we've been, we've been so blessed, man. We've, we've had a, a lot of luck. You know what? I think, as, as opposed to like a specific uh, instance, which I can't think of offhand, I'll think more of... Um, I, this happened a couple of times, and I've been able to kind of talk with fans, and they'll say, you know, they're with their friend or whatever, and it just seems like they've known each other their whole lives, and then they'll go like, yeah, uh, we met on a chat line like five years ago, and then met up at a convention two years later, and we're best friends. Like, seeing connections, because obviously, my personal experience as Jared, I, I made a few connections during Supernatural. And I gotta keep his prove it. And I got, you know, got a dude stand up at my wedding and vice versa. So I think it's seeing that, because we can all watch just whatever. Whether it's the same thing with, with watching sports. You know, you see somebody in, or I see somebody in a Spurs uh, jersey, and I'm like, hey, we're getting Wimby. You know, and like you kind of feel like you have a connection. And so I think that type of uh, uh, fan, or, you know, you're with your old man. He's got a cowboy hat, and he's Captain America Cowboy. <laughs> cowboy 10 America. Uh, but just seeing how the show has helped not just people enjoy it by themselves, but strengthen their relationships with either new friends or family or that kind of situation. Um, we used to, um, uh, maybe like once or twice a year, we would get uh, Make-A-Wish. We'd come to, to our set. And there's one in particular, uh, it's always a, a, a real treat, and, and really we try to make it as special as possible. Um, but uh, there's one that, that will always stand out to me. Uh, and I'll, I, I don't even know if I can get through it without getting emotional, but um, there was a, a, a young lady, she was, what, maybe 13, 14 years old? Uh, and she had, I think it was maybe leukemia or, or it was, Something terrible. Always end stage. So. Um, yeah, and um, uh, she came with her with her family, and her dad uh, was a firefighter, and he had uh, he had this really beautiful ornate tattoo on his arm that was a it was like a rose that, that went down to where he was holding it and it represented her essentially. But <clears throat> what really stood out about that visit was he pulled us aside and he said uh, through tears, big. Yeah big, like, you know, muscle-bound firefighter guy. And through tears, he was like, he's like, there's only so much that I could do as a father for my daughter, but the smiles that we bring her, he's like, but the smiles that you bring her on a daily basis when she watches your show, that's something I can't bring. And so he like hugged us and said thank you for making his daughter smile, even though she was dying essentially. And that was, uh, you know, that, that meant a lot to, to me and to Jared. And it just, it's one of those things that's like, oh, what we do here, it does truly affect people. And, you know, there's a saying in the industry, it's like, hey, we're not curing cancer here. So when, it, when people get crazy on set, you know, and his stressed egos out. are stressed and people, it's like, hey, calm down, we're making TV, okay? We're, we're making a movie here. We're not, we're not curing cancer. Like, take it easy, calm down. And, and we're not, but what we might be doing is giving somebody a little bit of hope, giving somebody an escape from dealing with that. And that, that just, uh, 
yeah, it, it just really hit home and, and meant a lot to, to us. So whoever that guy was, I don't remember his name. This was many, many years ago. But, uh, that left a huge impression on me. So. Happy birthday. Uh, all right, how about right here? Second row. You have your hand up. Why are you looking around? I you're, you're like, my hand's not up. I don't know why you're pointing at me. <laughs> I was airing out my underwear. Yeah. Hey. If you were a Muppet, if you were a Muppet, which Muppet would you be? <laughs> I knew she'd have a good question. <laughs> oh, no. If we were a Muppet. I think I'd probably have to be Big Bird. <laughs> it's not a Muppet. Oh, I thought you were Sesame Street. Okay. It's kind of close. Okay, she's counting. You count, you're counting Sesame Street? The judge oh, well, says then, yes. I'll take it. I'll the Oscar. Duh. <laughs> Straight up trash can life for me. She's like, I gotta put my phone down now. So mine's not a supernatural question. It's okay, a somebody question. else. <laughs> it's good. I'm in my mid forties and I went back to school. So my question is, if you guys, knowing what you know now, were to go to school tomorrow, where would you go and for what? Well, you might not be far off because <laughs> our industry is a little interesting right now. Uh, um, I think if I if I could go back to school, <laughs> no, I saw where that landed. So no law school. Um, God, there's so much I, I, I'd love to learn. Um, I, I'm fascinated by history. I'm fascinated by many things. I wish there were 11 of me that I could all go back to school and have different degrees, but um, I, I think I learn a lot about people and myself even from history. And I, I, that's kind of what I tend to read is nonfiction, historical nonfiction. Um, so I think that's probably what I'm, as of right now, you know, tomorrow might be like French, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'd love to learn more about uh, history. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Maybe mechanic class. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it would be. Um, although, you know, combustion engines are are, uh, be, are being threatened. Um, you know, we were just talking about a little bit about this uh, this morning, but um, like neuroscience, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, is is just kind of fascinating. You know, what we know and what we don't know about. How the human brain works and functions, I think, is, is kind of fascinating. Also, uh, there's another fascinating thing too. Uh, you know, astro astrophysics uh, <laughs> is. We were talking about this last night. He's got us in a rabbit hole. And, yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> there was a, a, a Neil deGrasse Tyson was talking to uh, another uh, professor, astrophysicist, and he was asking. Um, what do we of, of what we can see and what we know of the universe? How does how is that measured? You know, yeah, how much have we researched? How much have we researched in the last you know fifty years? And this professor said, if you were to take uh, the universe, all of its expanse, and make that the size of the oceans on Earth, uh, what we know and what we can see and what we know about it, what we've learned over the last fifty years, would be the equivalent of a twelve ounce glass of ocean water. And so if you were to say, is there life out there? Is there other life out there? Well, what we can see is no, but that would be like taking a glass of water out of the ocean and being like, there's no fish. So there must be that there's no fish in the ocean. Well, clearly we know that's not true. So that's like, And this is why you don't want to be friends with Jensen Adams. Because <laughs> you stay up all night trying to figure out what the hell he just showed you. Uh, I think we're getting, uh, on that note, yeah. I think we're getting, what, what done off?
what was the <laughs> nod off? <laughs> nod off. Yeah, we're gonna nod off now, guys. We're getting knocked off to nod off. Uh, All right. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll we'll see you in a bit. <laughs>